What movie could have been over in 10 minutes if the main character wasn't such a fool? The visit. Kids, we are going to visit our grandparents. Mom, I don't want you to go, but if you feel like you really want to go, I'll drive you to their house. Mom, hey, you all ain't my parents. I'm calling the police. The end. The ring. Girl 1. Hey do you wanna watch the tape that kills you in 7 days? Girl 2. No thanks. Not a movie, but 13 reasons why. The fucking kid just couldn't listen to the damn tapes. It's literally the first thing she tells him. It's what everyone repeats to him a million times. He runs around, asking PPL shit instead of listening to the tapes. Imperial Officer 1, there goes another one. Imperial Officer 2, hold your fire, there's no life forms. Imperial Officer 1, dude, we are looking for an inanimate set of plans in a galaxy full of sentient robots. Imperial Officer 2, oh, right. Written and directed by George Lucas. I mean, Dorothy should have asked a few more questions about the ruby slippers. Jurassic Park if Hammond actually spared no expense. Not a movie, but Breaking Bad would have worked out much better for Walt if he had just swallowed his pride and allowed his old friend to pay for his cancer treatment. Literally not picking Anakin to be Pad bodyguard when the sexual tension between them is thicker than Jabba. Reservoir Dogs. I dunno, Joe. This heist seems kinda risky and dangerous. Yeah, I'm not actually sure everyone in this crew is on the up and up. It's off. Aladdin. If Jaffa would have just paid Aladdin what he promised him instead of betraying him at the cave, he would have had the lamp and become king be mighty powerful. Aladdin just wanted his money in return for the lamp. Over the hedge. RJ decided to be a dum dum and steal all of the bear's food. Like what did he think would happen even if he didn't accidentally wake him up the bear would still have woken up a week later and probably would have known it was RJ. Edit, although I suppose, if RJ never stole the food he would still be a con man and the forest animals likely would starve to death that year so. No country for old men. Never go back to the scene of the crime. Cars. If Lighting McQueen listened to his crew and changed his tires as ordered, he could have won the race. Not the main character, but don't reopen the beach for the holiday weekend in Jaws. Any horror movie where your friends are dying one by one. After the third one, you say fuck it and leave. Any movie where the main character says there's no time to explain. Fifty Shades of Grey. Anna, you're an abusive stalker with serious emotional trauma. Seek help. Star Wars Episode 1. Not exactly 10 minutes, but Padden could have bought Anakin's mom and he would have probably never turned to the dark side. Republic credits may not be worth much on Tatooine, but I'm sure one of her jewel encrusted headdresses is. If Mr. and Mrs. Bula were anything like my parents, the movie would have been called Ferris Bula's Day at School. Forget movies. How I Met Your Mother took 9 years, a 5 minute story. Pretty much anything on the Hallmark channel. Wait, let me explain. Batman Begins. The Waynes shouldn't have left through the side exit of the theater. Just call Alfred and wait out front. John Wick. If Theon would have just killed John. Considering they fucked Hun up pretty bad, not only would we not have gotten three movies, but Theon would be known as the person who killed Baba Yaga. Being the son of a crime lord and worldwide recognition for killing the most famous assassin on the planet would make the Terrasov family untouchable. Star Wars, after discovering that Anakin could be very powerful with the Force, but had a lot of fear and attachment issues over his mother. The council sends Obi-Wan back to Tatooine to buy his mother out of slavery and relocate her to Coruscant in a safe neighborhood. Anakin now knows that even without him in the picture his mother will live a safe and happy life and can detach from her much more easily than leaving her alone on a savage world and even if he isn't able to fully detach from her he never has the impetus to slaughter the sand people and kickstart his descent to the dark side. 
It's not a sure plan, but certainly one that would produce a version of Anakin who ends up resenting the GD just a little less. Maybe even enough to know slaughter younglings in the future. Please, Lightning McQueen, change your tires in this pit stop. Okay. Asterisk Tires wouldn't have blown in the last lap and he would have won, as he was comfortably leading the race. Asterisk no need for a tiebreaker race. Emperor's new groove. Ismara originally says that she could just turn him into a flea, put that flea in a box, put that box into another box, and eventually send it to herself, so she could smash it with a hammer. Then she says to save on postage, she'll just use poison which ends up not being poison. Even if she went with the original plan he'd be a flea, and, for all intents and purposes, out of the picture pretty instantly, Isma fucked herself trying to save like a quarter. Frozen. Anna, why do you shut me out? Elsa, enough, Anna. Anna, okay we are gonna discuss it later in private. Thanks for the awards, D. School of Rock, Mrs. Mullins, can I see your ID Mr. Shibley? D. Ah oh, sorry I don't have it Mrs. Mullins, sorry you won't be able to teach the kids, unless you have proof you're a teacher slash who you are. Credits. Don't swim to the drop off, Nemo. Okay dad. Asterisk C-R-E-D-I-T-S asterisk. There is actually a term for this, idiot plot. 28 days later. How about we don't let the diseased rage monkey out of the cage? The main antagonist in Suicide Squad is a member of the team, Enchantress, who turned out to be evil and gains power thanks to some magic MacGuffin that the lady running the team uses to control her. Literally the entire plot of Suicide Squad wouldn't have happened if they didn't bother assembling the fucking Suicide Squad. Edit wow, this blew up, thanks for the awards. I never imagined my most upvoted comment would be about this piece of shit movie. Rent. Hey, mom, Mark here. I'm sorry, it didn't work out. I'm being evicted. Can I go home again? Credits. Inside out. In the scene where Sadness and Joy meet the two workers in the long term, they send the gum commercial memory through the wall, the little flap that opens if you push a memory through it and up to headquarters. IDK why they didn't think of sending the core memories through that instead. Edited, fixed the grammar. Frozen. The parents completely isolated Elsa from the world, leaving her with insecurity and anxiety. They also seemingly neglected Anna as her behavior was never in check, which is why she continuously butted her way into Elsa's space when she clearly needed some time alone to clear her head. Maybe if they two actually talked instead of Anna's near assault on Elsa, something cold have been worked out that didn't include running away and getting hypothermia in a semi-frozen river. Sleeping Beauty. Honey, we should invite Maleficent to our daughter's christening. I know she's the mistress of evil, but it would probably end up worse for us if we don't invite her. Huh. I can't see the Indominus Rex. Let me just take a look at the GPS tracking device. Oh, it's in the cage but invisible. Better not open any doors or go inside. She's the man. Sorry, you're very clearly a girl dressed as a boy. Do you even go here? Credits. Edit, I was always factoring in the way she talked to sound like her brother lol. Not the main character, but Star Wars. The Empire grabs Leia's ship and the droids escape in a capsule. There's no life forms. Hold your fire. No, wait. Droids exist in this universe and could be carrying those plans Vader wants. Let's pull that ship in or dispatch some TIE fighters to intercept it or something. Asterisk a short time later. Sir, we pulled apart those droids. The golden one was useless, but the Astromage had the plans. Vader, excellent. You will be rewarded for this. Wait a minute doc, what are you talking about? What happens to us in the future? What, we become assholes or something? 
No, no, no. You and Jennifer both turn out fine. It's your kids. Marty, something's gotta be done about your kids. Well, Doc, if this happens in the future. Why don't you come inside and we talk about it over a couple of beers? We'll make a note to make sure those kids don't misbehave 30 years from now. Let's hurry, though. We have an important day ahead of us.